Each flag in this field represents somebody who lost their life because of 9-11. And attached to each flag is a little card that has the person's name and their story so that people can come here and feel connected to this moment in history. It's just hard to believe that uh, this many, this many, I mean, it just goes on forever. It's easy to get lost in the sea of stars and stripes. When you see the actual numbers standing out in front of you, it's just overwhelming. So it's too much. Walking through the rows of American flags. One for every life lost. Gosh, this is sad. 3,000 stories. Each different and unique. Loved beautiful clothes so much she named her son Dior after Christian Dior. Each connected in their tragic end. She leaves her mother, Sally, a sister, Leslie, and her fiance, Dan. It breaks my heart, makes me want to cry. In this field, visitors learn about those who died during 9 11 and its aftermath. If you could picture each of these being a person standing there, it kind of brings you closer to them. While reflecting on what they learned that day 18 years ago. What does 9 11 mean to you? Well, it was a wake up call for all of us. And I remember hearing terrorism, and I said, What is terrorism? I didn't even know. I, I didn't know. What they know now, they'll never forget. And here, look Beckham. They pass it down. This field is sacred. So those who weren't alive back then will understand. When they crashed into the towers, what makes up the fabric of our history. And that is part of how we never forget. If you'd like to come walk the healing field and see these flags in person, it'll be here at the Sandy Promenade on the next few days with a program on September 11th at 7 p.m. In Sandy, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.